A very good reason to avoid swamping yourself in unfathomable amounts of work is to have the freedom to take on new projects that pay better. If you're getting paid a certain amount for your work and you have a little more bandwidth to complete more, you can place adverts that don't need to be desperate. In turn, that means you can charge a little more and it won't be the end of the world if you don't get any takers. Now, once you have several clients all paying a little bit more, you can go on to start getting your existing clients to bid for you. Let them know that your rates have increased and now you need to charge them X amount. It's scary to do this, but it's also completely reasonable and normal. And by putting your rates up, you'll be able to earn more or work less, maybe both. Try negotiating even if you don't have extra work too. The worst case scenario is that people say no, in which case you just carry on as you are. If you're nervous about doing this, then a tip for internet marketers is to try offering more for that increased amount. In other words, don't just ask for more money and sour relations. Explain how your service is improving as a result. Another tip for internet marketers who want to avoid being swamped with work is to set realistic expectations. In other words, don't promise a client you'll get them to the top of Google because that's not something you can guarantee. And likewise, don't promise to complete 10 videos for them per week if that's more than you can accomplish. A benefit of the business is that you can sell a lot of packages with different services and products involved. You don't need to write hundreds of thousands of words or build countless links. You can simply change the package to reflect the kind of work you're best at and that you personally like doing. One last tip is that in order to save yourself from a scenario where all your clients have left you, try to find a few clients that want more work than you can provide. Find a few that will be flexible and take on more work when you have the time. Finally, keep a list of your old clients so you can offer deals and incentives to get people to hire you again. If work is slow, you can message your old clients and let them know about your discounted packages. And if you do get more work than you can handle? Well, the best answer is often to outsource or automate. This might mean just giving your work to someone else and paying them slightly less than you're getting paid in order to write it. This is where you can start to build up a roster of freelancers, which will give you more spare time to work on other things or relax, and will give you the satisfaction of being the boss. Tools can also help you to complete work more quickly, as can finding ways to reuse old materials. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.